Hi Svetlana, this is Bev, ex-IELTS examiner. I'll give you some feedback today on your two tasks. Okay, so task one about the VW car ownership. Right, two types of diagrams are given. Um, I don't know about diagrams, I would say two types of charts are given because a diagram is sometimes just a drawing. Okay, so the pie charts um, compare the information about car ownership in England and Scotland in 1999 gathered by the World Car Organization. The bar graph illustrates the quantity of VWs, with an S to make it plural, uh, which were sold in England and Scotland during 1999 to 1998. From the pie charts, it can be clearly seen. Um, okay, this sentence is a little bit uh, problematic, okay? What you want, I know what you want to say is, first of all, you're only comparing uh, two countries, okay? So you can't say that the greatest was in both countries, okay? If there was a third country, you could say that. So you need to uh, just change the word order around a little and say that... Um, the greatest percentage of cars were bought in England uh, at 65%, whereas the amount in Scotland was only, in whereas in, compar or in comparison in Scotland it was only 55%. Okay? Um, you might want to start with the year. In 1999, 65% of cars were bought in England, whereas 55% were bought in Scotland. Okay? The percentage of shared cars was almost the same at 20%. However, the quantity of leased, car, leased cars in England was twice as much as that in Scotland, which reached 30%. So which one reached 30%, Scotland or England? Okay, Be careful how you word that, otherwise it's not clear if there's a problem with the coherence. Okay. From the bar chart, it is obvious that Scottish people prefer. Okay, um, when you are using vocabulary in task one, never use vocabulary that talks about anything that are about personal choices, because you you do not know reasons. You only have the facts and the figures. Okay, so from the bar chart, it 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 is apparent that uh, greater number of Scottish people bought VW in comparison to the English, okay? You don't know if it was out of preference. It, it could be a multitude of reasons. Okay, so be careful with words like that, okay? You will lose, it, it won't gain you anything, okay? The level of VW sales in Scotland, Scotland was almost the same during this eight year period, and preferably put eights in, in words, and reached roughly 180,000 cars per year. However, the picture for sales in England showed fluctuations in VW interest from 20 what? Okay, I think you've left out something there. In 1996 to 150,000. Now, if you're going to use the number, that's fine. Then you put one five zero and three zeros. But if you're going to use words, then use all in words. One hundred and fifty three words and then thousand. Okay. However, <coughs> excuse me. In 1997 and 1998, the quantity of sold cars, uh, the quantity of the number of cars sold, was equal in both countries, and showed 150 thousand cars per year per each country. Not per each country, but just per country. Okay. Um, there's too much here about both countries and per each country. Um, you need to make that a little bit more succinct, otherwise it becomes a bit clumsy and overworded. Okay. To summarize, comma, the charts rather than diagrams uh, clearly show that the majority part of the majority part of car owners bought their car. Huh? Okay, you need to say the majority of people bought the cars as opposed to leasing them. Okay, that's not very clear that sentence. You need to explain and expand a bit more. And preferably don't start a sentence with a conjunction like and. Okay. 
and then you can put here overall the quantity of car ownership rose during the period from 1991 to 1999. Okay. All right, Svetlana. Um, you are answering the question, which is good. Um, you need to just take heed of being very specific, okay, about what you're saying, that it is directly referring to the diagrams or the charts, okay. Um, and be consistent whether you're using figures or words, all right. And in a few places where I've expanded, you need to just extend your sentences a bit more and put in it's a little bit more information to make it clearer to your reader. So you need to work on a largely here with um, cohesion and coherence. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at your task two. Okay. First of all, I just want to check that you are within the word count. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, 276, that's fine. Minimum is 250. Good. Nowadays, half of the world, half of the world's, apostrophe S, countries are democratic. However, comma, many people believe that democracy, which existed I would say hundreds of years ago um, meant the power of citizens has faced extinction in most cases today or in many countries you might want to just end that sentence with some words to clarify these points of view will be discussed in the essay using influence of international technology corporations. I would say using examples cited, C-R-T-E-D, or taken from, um, the influence of international technology, technological corporations and data from a UK government report as examples to demonstrate points and support arguments. Okay, this sentence is very difficult for the reader to take in. You need to break that up into two sentences, make it a little bit clearer. Okay, right, so on the one hand, it could be unrealistic to imagine a world without a global market. Connections between countries have brought tremendous positive impact to people. Take away that. We're talking about people in general. Um, full stop, capital letter. However, it has also developed new problems. I wouldn't say developed new problems because I would rather say it has created new problems such as complete dependence. Is it, you want to say on? Complete dependence by a country's government on the worldwide economy. For example, technological giants such as Apple and Microsoft have increased profits. Or you say of the country, which country? Do you mean the United States? Okay, so be more specific due to the taxation system and decreased unemployment level in the country. Okay, I'm not sure what your point is there. You need to expand a bit more, explain a bit more. Okay. However, because of the huge influence on the economic global system, comma, Corporations have started to lobby their rules, ideas, and terms to the government. Thus, it is obvious why elected people have lost their power or their influence in government or on the government. I'm not quite sure what you want to say here. So, uh, uh, your point is not that clear. You need to break that down and explain it a bit more. Exactly how this works. What, what the sequence is, okay? Because this is talking about a sequence. So you have this 
democracy, you have these corporations, how do they affect, why are they having this effect, okay? Um, it's not very clear, okay? So you need to explain that in, in, simple, in a simpler fashion, okay? On the other hand, society consists of different layers of citizens, from the poor to the wealthy, okay? Because you're talking about a, a group of people. Social inequality, which appears in a country, um, I'm not quite sure again if you mean which country you mean or countries in general, which appears in a country, can make people lose, 1-0, faith in the institution of democracy. Take away S because it's a concept, a general concept, and gives birth to the idea of a total unchallenging situation. Okay, I'm really lost here, Svetlana, with the point you're trying to make. Okay, it's not clear. For example, recent UK a recent UK government report showed that 67 to 67% of people who earn less than 15,000 pounds per year do not vote in elections. Thus, it is clear why people do not believe in democracy. Why is what makes it clear? Exactly. Okay, you might want to say, this indicates that the majority of people um, do not have faith in democracy or in a democratic system. To conclude, from the examples and arguments given, I feel that democracy has stopped their existence, stopped whose existence. Okay, you need to be more specific. While global markets appear and modern democratic regimes should be revised and renamed. Okay. All right. Okay, so quite a bit of uh, work to do there, Svetlana. Um, your coherence and cohesion is what is, is the common thread for both your tasks that you need to work on. Um, it is... Um, difficult for the reader to follow your argument, okay? And be careful when you're using pronouns, if it's clear to the reader which subject you're referring to, okay? All right, so take a look at those and then we'll look at it again, okay? Good work.